Bob at Architecture Glass Specs, and today I'll be demonstrating how to install a piece of glass into a cabinet door using a professional silicone method. Now before we get started, you want to make sure that you have your cabinet door and your glass, a tube of clear silicone and a silicone gun, utility knife, a roll of masking tape, a roll of paper towels, and make sure that you have a garbage can nearby. Now it's very important before we get started that you protect the front of your cabinet door from getting scratched. From putting all this effort into making your cabinet door look beautiful, you want to make sure that we don't ruin it. So I wrapped up this cabinet door in plastic, but if uh, you don't have plastic wrap, what you can use is a moving blanket or a towel to put on the table so when, during the installation your door is protected. So I've unwrapped our piece of glass. This is AGE Texture 435 Zen. Now, the edges of this glass have been sanded to make it much safer to handle, and it's clean, so I'm going to put it into the door. So now that we have the glass in the door, the first thing we want to do is tape this, the door. What I like to do is start by folding over the first inch of the tape onto itself to give us a little tab. That'll make it easy for us to pull up the tape when we're done. So we're going to start by taping the sides. What we want to do is tape all the way to the edge and push it down as we go. If you don't get all the way to the edge, you can pull up the tape a little bit and put it back down to make sure that you get it perfectly even. And we want to push it down as much as possible so the silicone doesn't get underneath it and get on our cabinet door. Beautiful. Okay, so now that I'm done taping the door, the next thing you want to do is tape the glass. But you knew the glass a little bit differently than you did the door. The door you go all the way to the edge, but when you're taping the glass, you want to leave about a sixteenth of an, to an eighth of an inch of space where you can see the edge of the glass. But just like before, you're going to go and push it down as you're taping all the way around. Okay, so now we have the door and the glass taped. And now we just need to clean up the tape on the door. So what I, what I do is take my utility knife and remove the excess tape. And if it pulls up the tape at all when you're removing it, just make sure you push the tape back down. So go around to all four corners and trim so we get this nice rectangle of tape on the glass. Okay. So the space between these two layers of tape is where we want the silicone to go, and we don't want it to go anywhere else. So I take my silicone, remove the dry excess silicone from the tip, and we're going to put a nice bead of silicone all the way around. Okay, so now that we've siliconed it, make sure that you have your paper towels handy. I'm going to rip off a piece here. Now I'm going to use my finger to smooth out the silicone. I'm going to try to push it in as I go, all the way around. So here I have some excess silicone, so I'm just going to wipe that on my paper towel here. Okay, so I'm going to clean up my hand here, throw my paper towel in the garbage. Okay, and now we're pretty much done. All we need to do now is remove the tape. But you have to be very careful when you're removing the tape because the, the tape has the silicone on it, and if you remember, we only want the silicone to be where it is already, so the last thing you want to do is have the tape fall onto the door or onto the glass as you're trying to remove it. So you're going to be very careful as we're pulling up the tape. So I pulled up my tab here. It's very easy for me to remove this. I'm just going to make sure that I bunch up the tape as I'm pulling it up so there isn't any long pieces of excess that could fall onto the door or onto the glass. There you go. I'm going to take my utility knife to get under the tape here on the glass and carefully pull that up as well. And there you go. We're done. It's a beautifully installed cabinet door. Now that you've installed your glass into the door, all you need to do is wait a few hours for the silicone to set and then you can reinstall your door. This is Bob at Architecture Glass of X. Thank you for watching.